What is up, ladies and gents? DCS crew, we are back with a familiar face that's uh, got a new do. <laughs> so this one is uh, one that I really, really liked on the channel. It was actually one of the best budget knives that I felt that I had come across uh, in quite some time. And it's gotten a bit of an upgrade. Let's go ahead and say hello to the new and improved QSP Penguin upgraded scales beautiful uh, acid uh, kind of wash on the uh, Warncliffe blade here, still in D2, with the black hardware and deep carry clip as you know it. Uh, is this a, truly an upgrade from the original with the micarta scales? Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the QSP Penguin. This has been upgraded with uh, brass scales and um, an updated uh, D2 steel blade with uh, uh, a different fr uh, wash, basically. So what they've done is they've put like a dark wash, I'm going to say like, a, like an acid stone wash, and um, they've also taken all of the... Uh, just the screws, the pivot, the uh, the thumb stud, uh, you know, the hardware, and they've turned it all black. So it's given it that really nice, rich, dark look that helps the brass scales really pop. Uh, it has this kind of weathered, blackened look to it, and uh, it's it's been really good. Um, now, uh, just, I mean, as a, a warning, okay, this was already a good knife, so I'm not gonna tell you in this video whether it's good or not. Um, I'm not going to do a comparison with other knives because the truth is, if you want to see that, I do have a video that's available. I'll go ahead and try and put it up here. And if not, I'll put it at the end so you can go ahead and see the original. Now, just as a quick recap, we have a four inch uh, handle, uh, just over a three inch uh, blade. That's 3.06. This one uh, is quite a bit heavier. I will say that. Um, I forgot the exact right off the top of my head and what I'll try and do is I'll go ahead and pl put it right here so you can see, it, it, you know, basically just how heavy this is. I don't have my digital scale on me right now. And one thing that I did notice about this is um, with these changes, um, it could be that it was just something that, I don't know, maybe I just got it brand new and it's a little stiff and it was just kind of working with it and actually using it before I felt that it was... Uh, that it was kind of, uh, there we go, that's the action. Okay, so I was having issues with the action and I noticed that it was just like, it just felt way too stiff out of the box. Um, so what I did was I'm, I'm playing now with the, uh, the pivot to see if I can go ahead and fix that and then just keep this nice and there we go. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's good to go now. <laughs> I was kind of concerned about that and that was gonna be something I talk about because it was just, it felt like there was a lot of resistance there, but once I went ahead and I, I uh, played with the pivot a bit, it's good to go. So, um, do I like it? Yes, I do. Um, but I don't like the fact that this has been, uh, well, basically, you know, it, it's turned what was a nice light, uh, lightweight-ish uh, heavy user, and they've turned it into something that's got a little bit of bling, but you know, it's got quite a bit of heft as a result. I guess it's kind of a sacrifice that you make uh, for doing this sort of thing. And uh, QSP had um, a really good thing going with this particular knife. Uh, you know, even having one version, I believe in the upgraded steel, um, which I didn't end up getting. And if I happen to see it on the secondary marketplace or if it comes up again in, I believe Knives Plus uh, might have it, because that's where I got my original, um, I would definitely get it again and I would get it with the upgraded steel for sure but um, there is one thing that I really do have to say which is a huge plus on this okay number one I like the brass scales because now what you can do is you can take this brass and you can do all manner of, of mods to it uh, as an example um, I have another knife with that came with uh, brass scales that I sent over to my buddy uh, BJ Hill and uh, he has a YouTube channel, but he's also a knife modder. And uh, what he did was he took my Artisan uh, Mini Shark and he turned it into this. It's kind of like a shipwrecked patina uh, on the knife itself. And as you can see, I mean, it looks beautiful. He kind of put that matte uh, clear coat over it and it just turned it 
out. It turned out so nice. And I think that that would be a really cool setup for this particular knife. You know, with the weathering here, I think that this kind of patina would look awesome uh, on these scales. But aside from that, say you choose not to go this route because say that this is a little bit too much for you, you know, which I mean, I don't know anybody who wouldn't like that, but um, say that it's a little bit too much for you. What I would say is, uh, you know, if you can take it to somebody that has, you know, some CNC machining, that sort of thing, that can dimple this up or uh, just kind of texture it out, you can really do some stuff to these scales. And this isn't, you know, as expensive as some of those other, you know, knives that do come with brass uh, scales or even those aftermarket uh, scales that you get from like Rock Scale Design, you know, a Flitanium. I think that they make brass or, and copper scales. Um, and you would really take a, a great knife and just truly make it yours. Now, you do have the QSP symbol right here. You do have the D2 designation for the blade steel here. And that's basically it that you see on this knife. <clears throat> um, the thumb studs will deteriorate in time with use because that's black, uh, that's black paint that's on there. It's not a wash like this as will the uh, the pivot and the hardware. So that is just something to look out for. Eventually, it's going to go ahead and chip. Um, it's not parkerized. It is actually painted. So you will have that issue and it, will, it, it won't weather like the rest of the knife. So that would be my only gripe on this particular knife. But the blade shape is, is good to go. Um, they do come with a nice little edge right out of the box. It's a nice thin uh, edge and, and grind. Um, with some manipulation, you know, you can take the, uh, the action and you can go ahead and manipulate it extremely easily. Um, it's fairly easy to go ahead and take apart. You want to make sure that you have a, a T8 bit as well as a T6 bit, if I'm not mistaken. Just make sure here. Yes. Okay. So make sure you keep a T6 and a T8 bit and you can go ahead and take this apart. Guys, uh, this is, this is a really, really dope knife. And this was a great knife as the, you know, just the standard micarta variant. So for this version, I think it's gonna be, uh, I mean, just a home run. I'm really glad that um, I've been a part of the Xpex pass around because it actually gave me the opportunity to meet some people over at QSP when I went to go see them over at Shop Show. And uh, it convinced me to go ahead and buy this knife, especially for the price. I mean, I think they were starting with the micarta version at like $29, just under 30. And just for just a little bit more, you can go ahead and pick this one up. And they now have that upgraded steel version, which sells out all the time. So I don't even know what the price is because every time I see it, it says sold out. <laughs> but given, you know, this opportunity, if you don't have it and you're looking for something like this and you don't mind sacrificing the increase in weight for that durability um, and, and that change in look, this is a really, really nice upgrade to this knife. You have the black... Um, you know, liners, this is a liner lock. You have the upgraded uh, wash on the, uh, the the blade itself. You have the hardware that has been, uh, you know, coated, that has that black coating, and it does have that deep, it does have that deep carry clip that is left or right hand uh, carry, <clears throat> excuse me, carry friendly. The only thing is, being that this was, you know, brass, I would have, I would have done what I could to kind of um, save in, um, in weight where possible, I would have probably machined the inside of these brass uh, scales, probably skeletonized them as much as I could. I would have skeletonized the liner and it doesn't seem to be that the liners were skeletonized at all. So um, that would have been great, but I'm sure they did that to, you know, to save in cost. And, but as a result, you're getting a slightly heavier blade that could have been, you know, uh, lightened, you know, even just slightly. So um, keep that in mind, but I will say, this is a fantastic PVC knife. Uh, this, I mean, the micarta variant was a great knife. Um, that one actually from my channel um, was given away in one of my shave videos and it was given to uh, the winner of uh, my uh, my giveaway, which was uh, Shaving with Raza. He actually has a YouTube channel. He does really, really cool uh, shaving videos. So, you know, congrats to Raza. He got a great, great knife. But now I'm going to try and either get this or the upgraded steel version. I might just get the upgraded steel version, honestly, because I've already had the my Carta one. And I like the fact that you have the weight savings on that as opposed to this. I'm not really too keen on the fact that it's a little heavier, but, you know, to each their own. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, that is my uh, feedback on this particular knife. 
Um, there's no need to really review it per se because this is essentially just a variant um, or in the fragrance world, you call it a flanker, uh, you know, slightly different, but uh, part of the same vein, uh, cut from the same cloth, if you will, of the QSP Penguin series, D2 steel, brass scales, um, you know, blacked out hardware, nice uh, different uh, acid uh, stone wash on the blade. Yeah, here it is, guys. So thank you so much. And just remember, whether you choose this version, the version with the better steel, or even the micarta variant, if you EDC, think of DCS. You guys have been great. This is the QSP Penguin. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.